Hi there, Steve here at digitaldjtips.com and in this video I'm gonna be talking you through the SDJ80X Active Monitor Speakers for DJs. Uh, these are the daddies of the bunch, these are the big ones, these are the eight inch driver versions, um, but in the range there are also a five inch driver version and a six inch driver version and we'll cover those in separate reviews and videos. Now, for a full review of these speakers, head over to digitaldjtips.com where you'll find a lot more detail. I just wanted to quickly show you the speakers and talk you through some of the features in this video. So the first thing to note is what do they look like? Well, I think that they look, they look cool, they look imposing, they look professional. They have a kind of recording studio quality presence to them. I love the fact that it's, they're pretty much all black. There's nothing gimmicky going on here, apart from this uh, silver flash on the actual uh, woofer on, the, on this textured um, part of the uh, speaker here. And just this tiny little sliver of white light here, just showing you that the speaker is powered up. And um, well, that brings me on to the fact that these speakers are individually powered. They're active monitor speakers, so they're sold separately and each one has its own power source, uh, needs its own power source, has its own amplifiers built in, two in each one, one for that speaker and one for the tweeter. And also each one has its own individual input. So on your controller, for example, if you've got a left and right output, one is gonna to have to go into here, one is gonna to have to go into here to, to give you that stereo output. Um, but you get a much, much better sound quality with this kind of setup, as opposed to the more kind of consumer speakers where your output from your controller would go into one and then there would be a slave out from that one to the other one. That usually only has one amplifier in one unit powering both of them. Not so with these, they're individually powered and you get plenty of power, I can tell you. So uh, other than that, on the front, this is the base port here. This is where the, uh, the air of the base moving around inside is able to escape. Um, and I just think that they look, look really sleek and lovely and they're really, really well built, really heavy. And in fact, with that in mind, I'm just gonna unplug this one and turn it around for you, just so you can see the back and I'll talk you through some of the speakers. Now, why are these different? Well, they've got uh, a lot of inputs. Now, Professional studio quality uh, monitor speakers quite often only have one input. They're made to kind of be put in place with one input uh, and that's it. And if you want to change that input, you've got to fish around on the back and change your plugs. Not so with these, you've actually got three different options. You've got unbalanced RCA, uh, balanced uh, jack TRS input and XLR. So you could have your controller hooked up to one, you could have your computer hooked up to another and if you're a uh, if you're a producer and maybe you've got a mixing desk output, you could have that into, uh, into another input. So you can get your setup all set and put in place and not have to be changing wires around the back all the time. So great uh, choice of inputs there. Here is the level meter, uh, sorry, the level knob. Each individual speaker has its own uh, level control. Um, if, you, if you're using them in a stereo environment, most of the time you'd have the levels set the same. Um, but I can tell you that these particular ones sound fantastic, uh, very, very loud, at nowhere near even full volume. So um, there's, plenty, <laughs> there's plenty of level if you need it. Um, and here, the high frequency level adjusts. So what you can do here is you can boost the high frequencies by one dB or cut them by one or two dB if you want, or have them flat. And this is to help you get the speakers sounding right in your room. Um, and I would have liked to have seen a low frequency control on these as well, but alas, there isn't one. Uh, this is a great feature, auto standby. So what this does when this is engaged is that after a period of inactivity, so it's about 25 minutes, uh, where the speakers have not had any audio playing through them, then they power down. And um, that will save you on power and saves you having to go around the back and switch them on and off all the time. And then as soon as a power source, uh, sorry, an audio source is, uh, is present and is recognized, they power back up again and it's a controlled reboot um, so you don't get any cracking or popping of the speakers. So that's a, that's a great little feature there. And as already mentioned, there's the power switch and your, uh, and your power input there. So there you go, that's a quick talk through of the Pioneer SDJ80X uh, speakers. Um, there's a full review at digitaldjtips.com so please head over there and have a read of that.